What's up, everyone? It's your girl, Dama Clay, and I want to thank you all so much for tuning into part two of my wig customization series. If you haven't already and are new to my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. So now that I have plucked and bleached my frontal, I'm going to take my palette from Black Radiance and use the two shades of contour and sculpt in order to get the lace looking more scalp-like. Once my wig is prepped with the foundation, I'm actually just going to toss it on and try and size up the wig. That way it's kind of even on both sides before I cut the ear tabs. Before cutting my ear tabs off, I'm actually going to put my hair on the opposite side that I'm working on and I'm gonna clip it away because I cannot tell you guys how many times I've accidentally cut off inches on a freaking lace or like just on a wig period because I didn't take the time to section my hair off. So trust me when I say this, get a clip, find a clip or even tie it up and make sure that you are actually sectioning off that area. That way you don't accidentally cut your hair when you're cutting your head tabs off. And before I actually cut the ear tab, I'm just going to take my comb, anything sharp, and just feel around the rim of my ear. And that's kind of where I'm going to section it off and cut it. Before you start even putting down any bold hold or got to be, you wanna make sure you're prepping your skin. And what I use is 70% alcohol. The reason you wanna prep your skin is because you want to make sure you're getting off any residue, bacteria, or even sweat off your forehead. That way your install lasts a lot longer. As you saw, I put down two layers of the Got To Be glue and I actually put down the first layer and fanned it just so it can get a little tacky and follow suit with the other layers I planned on adding. Once I felt like my Got To Be was tacky enough, I pulled my lace down, sized it where it needed to be and I used my comb to kind of help push the lace in a little bit more. But I also did that to kind of get keep the hairs flowing so it doesn't actually stick to the glue because there's nothing worse than laying down your lace and then your hair is also laid down to your fucking forehead, okay? So just make sure that you are using your comb to kind of press it in but also comb out the hairs at the same time. And you can also use a blow dryer to help the drying process a little bit more. Once I feel like everything is laying in place and sized up correctly, I'm going to get my scarf and I'm going to lay this whole down, okay? Because I'm trying to have my shit looking just as good as taste. I'm like, I want to make it seem like I literally just stepped out of his salon. You know what I'm saying? Because 
If you're going to be doing your hair at home, of course, practice makes perfect. But the end goal is to make it seem like your lashes got your shit done by like one of the top celebrity hairstylists. So the best way to achieve that is by getting you a nice little edge scarf, making it designated for your edge scarf and letting it sit there while you tame the rest of the head. perfect time to take off my scarf and just see how everything is laying now when I cut my lace I'm actually going to cut it off in sections that way I don't mess up anything you don't want to do all this hard work and then you just fuck it up by cutting the lace wrong so I cut it in the center and on the side where my temples are and to cut my lace I use a eyebrow razor because if you use like scissors a pair of scissors that's going to give you more of a controlled cut and I don't want it to be controlled because then it's going to look more rounded and more wiggy and the more jagged the edges are the more realistic it looks Now, I cannot end off this video without getting y'all hip on game, getting y'all hip on literally the holy grails of laying y'all wigs. If y'all don't have a wax stick or a high comb, what are you doing? Like, you need this in order to lay your stuff. You need this in order for it to be slick, like period. You don't want any flyaways, you don't want any frays, and you will achieve that if you have any kind of wax stick. Honestly, they all do the same and a hot call. too much advice in this video about baby hairs but for starters the only thing I really do is I just section wherever I want my baby hairs to land first and foremost is where I section it off and I make sure to not pull too much hair out I make sure to just get a little itty bitty bit because you don't want your baby hairs to be thick as a bowl of grits you know you want your baby hairs to be nice and fluffy and soft 
So start off with a small piece or a small section of hair and cut it. And if it's not enough, then, you know, pull out a little bit more. But don't just go out for the whole thing because y'all gonna be out here looking crazy. And I feel like I have to add that I'm also using a razor to cut my baby hairs. You can use a razor or scissors, whatever you feel comfortable doing. But me personally, a razor just gives me that um, jagged and uneven look better. And I feel like that just works best for me and best for me to achieve what I'm looking for. Lastly, like I said before, I'm going to get my edge scarf and I'm going to lay my baby hairs down. And I'm going to literally just let this sit on for five to ten minutes <laughs> and then y'all just gonna see how this shit look. completes part two of my wig customization series thank you so much everyone for sticking through this for tuning back in for the second part of it i love you guys so much if you haven't already you might as well like comment and subscribe and be sure to follow me on instagram love you all see you next week <laughs>